It's important to be gentle with yourself. Don't beat yourself up in the process and get stuck in this pity party of a place about stuff you didn't get done last year. You want to be gentle. Don't be unrealistic in your expectations of yourself. You, you don't be unrealistic and think you can take on the world in one month. I mean, it's not going to happen like that. Be honest about your 2018 commitment to your growth. You did great. You're the honesty, right, that she said, you know, I couldn't this, but I didn't, and I wasn't. It. You're honest about it, that commitment. So look at the commitment factor for you and be super honest about that. And I do this a lot of times, do this, because I'm always thinking about my gut, my intuition, which I always point to here, but it's actually up here, the little voice, but there's this great mind-body connection to that. It's kind of telling us the right thing to do, the intention. All right, did you say yes to too many people when you needed to say no? Yes, I did. Uh -huh. Thank you. A big one. What would happen if we said yes to ourselves more than other people? What would be different? Huh? Probably a lot, right? So in looking back, did you ask for help with accountability? Or did you say, oh, I don't want to bother them. They're so busy. No, I can do it on my own. I do everything else on my own. Right? It's what we do. It's what our brain says a lot of times. Did you get accountability? Did you put your goal out there? Did you say, hey, I'm going to accomplish this. I'm going to put it out there for the world to see to help hold my accountability. How it looks for you. Did you hold yourself accountable? 